Hey, Lindsay. How are you? Hey, Michelle. I'm doing great. How are you? How's I'm everything? Good. Yeah, everything's good. So, um, question. Um, okay. How much coffee have you had today? Oh, I'm just getting started, but I will have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> how many, uh, how much, we've talked about this all right the time, <laughs> but <laughs> right there. Yeah. Um, how much do you have a day? Oh my gosh. Um, two or two and a half large cups. So that might be like six cups, literally six measurement cups of coffee, potentially Yeah, a lot, Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of coffee, but sometimes I find the research that says it doesn't matter as long as you're not drinking like 25 cups, you're okay. Yeah. I think I'm still okay. Maybe 25. That would be a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, have been drinking more than usual. I used to just drink one oh. in the morning. That was fine. But my daughter is uh, getting up at 4 30 in the morning sometimes. Oh and my gosh. There's, it's, a, she is in the other room right now and like she is waking up oh. too early. So that happens. But so I've been drinking more than usual and that drinking coffee more than usual. <laughs> Make sure yeah, that's you'll clear. just have a little Make sound sure clip. A little yeah, sound yeah. clip of me. <laughs> right, 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 right. Watch out what gets clipped out of episodes. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, no, no. You're drinking more coffee than usual. Oh my gosh. Question, Michelle, how are you handling that? I mean, how like that must be hard. Oh, the you know, getting the up so early every oh, morning. Oh my gosh. There's you should see you, you should see my apartment from between the hours of like 4 30 and 6 30. No should be up at that hour. Yeah, well, you talk to her. <laughs> I'll you have talk a to her. Yeah, but I'll, yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know, but but I I'm not handling it well. I, we're all exhausted, and uh, oh, just geez. the coffee, the coffee. All right. Well, the coffee's coming to your uh, to your rescue. You know, yes. today I'm excited, Michelle. We're going to be talking about something, right? That we've already used this language function twice in this conversation. I wonder if our listeners have picked up on it. What do you yeah, think? yeah, I'm I'm excited about this episode. This is one of those that came out of uh, my natural speech, and that I've heard other people use. And I thought we yeah. something that I think that people do that we we didn't even realize. And so I I paid attention, and I realized that's used a lot. And uh, yeah. I made a note yeah. of it. So I'm I'm excited. This will be a fun one. This is going to be good. I love when we cover these super natural native quirks. These are yeah. quirks yes. you know, that, that native speakers use. And no textbook would pick up on this. There's just no time no. in a textbook or a traditional no. <laughs> English class. This is real English here. Guys, if you want to go deeper with All Ears English, by the way, go over and get our app, right? Because yes. on the app, you get transcripts. People, Our listeners love having those transcripts. While they listen to this episode, you could be seeing the words of the episode coming right mm -hmm. on your screen. So go to allearsenglish.com slash app to download the app and give it a try. Definitely. All right. So, all right, all right love it. So today we're, yeah, we're talking about a unique way that people start off asking a question. So Lindsay, what is it? It is question. <laughs> That's it. It's question. It's saying question, right? So what? how did we use it in the first couple of Con little conversation at the beginning, right? Yeah. You asked me what you said. I said, question, how much coffee do you have? Have you had today? And then what did you ask me again? I said, question, how are you handling right. that? Which I actually liked, this is very nuanced, but, and maybe it's too, too thin to pick apart here, but I liked your use of question better than mine. It felt more natural just because it's, I mean, I guess we'll get into this, but yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of bringing up a random question a little bit, isn't ah, it? Ah, yeah. It's a little random and, well, okay, we'll get into it. Yeah, uh, we'll get into it. <laughs> well, I'll keep you guys on the edge of your seat. Yeah. Um. So, but guys, just to uh, head you over to another episode that would be good to listen to, we have episode 2102 of Allers English. We couldn't agree with you more, how to validate someone in English. Yes, I love it. I love it. So go back and check out that episode. So have you been hearing this more and more lately? This question? Yeah, with question? I have. I have. I just, hmm. I, I don't know. It Maybe it's not that it's more common. Maybe it's just that I am, my ears are perked up. I don't know. Yeah, um, probably. Yeah, as, a, as someone who's always looking at, for ideas for episodes, right? Maybe yeah. it's just th something I notice. Um, so right. yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. But do you, would you say that you use this? 
Yeah, I do sometimes. And I, I agree. I think it's something that's kind of in style and modern. We should make yeah. a course that's just really in style things right now. Yeah. You know, in style ways and like 10 most fashionable language trends currently. That would be really cool, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that would. That would. I mean, anyways, yeah, I, yeah. I do hear it. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. So this isn't one of those things where you say you don't really hear it in your world, right? Like, because sometimes no. I'll come to something and we're like, oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Which is fine. And then I'm like, did I make that up? I don't know. Close, I start to second you know? guess myself. No, 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 no. This one I do hear for sure. Okay. For sure. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, yes, I thought you would. Um, so <laughs> what I mean, basically what you do is you say question and you start the question. Um Right. So right. let's do some so, examples. All right, here we go. So question. Do we start the clock now or just when the actual presentation begins? All right. So maybe what's the context there, Michelle? Like uh, maybe you're rehearsing for something for a presentation and you need to, t yeah. to time it. And so you're trying to decide when should you actually right. specifically start the clock. <laughs> right. So that, that could be at work. Uh, maybe there's a team gathered around a table and that's how you interject. Right. Right, 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 right. Or uh, what question, else? how do we log into our YouTube account? Right. I could see maybe if we're having a team meeting and you're not sure how to log into our YouTube account, you might say that randomly. Like you bring it up kind of out of the blue. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, okay, uh, do this one and then we'll talk about if we feel it's like more natural. Okay. Question. Why is it so tough to get tickets for this show, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. are you asking me if that last yeah, one yeah. feels natural? It, it's a little bit different for me, and I'll, I'll explain why in a second. Mm. But um, I think it's fine as well. Um, yeah. But I mean, I okay. So, like, but why do we do this? It adds style. I think it's a signal. It shows that. Here's what I think. I think it shows that something is generally a quick question, right? It's not. Yeah. It's you. I, you wouldn't say like question. Tell me, like, like. Um, yeah. tell me about like, where did you travel on your trips as a child? Right, 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 right. It's like you're trying to communicate. It's a transition for sure to get attention. It's an opener. Mm -hmm. And it's also a way to say, I'm not going to dominate the conversation now. I'm not going to take it to a whole other direction for the next hour. I just want to ask a quick question. Right. Maybe it's a little interruption or maybe, maybe you're just showing like, oh, yeah, this isn't this is just a it's not mm -hmm. asked for a long, open ended question. So yes. when I said mm -hmm. about the tickets to the show, I mean, that could be I mean, or like I'm imagining if you're sitting at your computer with your with your friend, I mean, and you're trying to get tickets to a show and you're sitting together and then you're just like, question, why do you think it's so hard? I feel like it's yeah. okay. But if it's gonna yeah. be like a whole discussion, you wouldn't say this. Right. Yeah. Or if someone's giving um, a list of instructions on yeah. how to do something and you want to quickly interject, you don't want them to stop the instructions. They're going to continue. They're on step three and just say, question. Yeah. Right. You're just saying, hey, I'm just going to ask this and then I'm going to pop back down and I'm going to listen to you continue to go down the list. Of yes. Instructions. Yes. So right? exactly. I think it's a quick zippy question that zippy you're going to be asking a zippy question. <laughs> <laughs> um, or yeah, like you said, Lindsay, how to do something, um, yeah. or what someone thinks should be done. Like question, like, do you think we should use blue or black ink? It's like the subtle art of interrupting, but not interrupting. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. That's true. Okay. So I think our listeners are starting to get the vibe of what this does. You guys, we need skills like this. We need more direct ways to interrupt. If we really need to redirect the conversation, we need little ways to interject in this way and show that we're not going to dominate the conversation. We need a variety of things to say. And I think we're right. getting that here, Michelle. Yes, yes, exactly. So we're going to talk about some similar uh, things that you can use. I mean, the first one is just question for you, or a lot of times you might hear quick question for you. Right. That's good too. So for example, quick question for you, Michelle, are you free this Sunday for recording? Uh -huh. nice. uh, we don't record on Sunday. Uh, we don't record on Sunday. <laughs> uh, right. So yeah, that's another way. It's, it's the same idea. Um, and then I wanted to bring up one special way and this is a shout out to my dad um oh. because and he doesn't real he doesn't know this but i uh, always notice that he says this all the time <laughs> and that's one of the inspirations for the show i remember i wrote this oh. down and then i wrote a question because i heard that too so i wanted to include this as well so do you ever hear somebody say like oh the question is 
Oh yeah. I, yeah. I could see that being like something. Yeah. Kind of a, maybe an, a slightly older generation might be more likely to say, I could see my dad saying it too, or yeah. we could say it too for right. sure. Legitimately. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, this is a little bit different, um, but I wanted yes. to include it cause it's a question word. So yeah. 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 Um, yeah. The, but the it, it's, is... it's, I feel like it's less to someone. It's more general. It's more like you're putting the question out into the world yeah. and whoever can answer it will answer it. So for example, right. the question is how can we get the money if we aren't there on time? Yeah. Or the question is why haven't they called back yet? Michelle, this is a good one. I think this actually deserves its own episode. Yeah. Oh. Dedicated to your dad. Oh, <laughs> dad. <laughs> I mean, it could be a whole other episode, right? Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. But it's interesting how sometimes we signal in these quick ways. And also intonation is important, right? Let's talk mm -hmm. about intonation for a second because we can't forget about that. Lindsay, would you say like question <laughs> no question no it, has, it can't be monotone it has to stick out right question right question or quick um, question for you it's all very it's like for you it's like bouncing it's like it has to come up it has to bounce because what it's doing is it's catching attention catching yeah. the person's attention okay i'm going to interject now but it's a light it's like lightly catching yeah. the attention, right? Yes. It's not again redirecting in a heavy right. way. Quick question for you. Right. Question. Right. Okay. Whereas the mm -hmm. question is, is a little bit more drawn out. Like the question is, right? Yeah. But maybe we'll yes. save that for a whole episode for yeah. another day. That could be a great episode because that one gets into asking lots of questions, right? Mm -hmm. The question, I, I, we'll, we'll think about that one another day. Okay. I love it. So All right. Sounds we have good. A role play? <laughs> yeah. Do we have a role play for this one today? Let's do it. So here we are, coworkers. All right. Hey, Michelle, quick question for you. What's the password for the general company account? Oh, um, it's uh, it's Foxtrot six zero one. Okay, thanks. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, question: Are you free for happy hour tonight? Sure. Amazing. The question is: Where should we go that isn't already booked? Hmm. I'll think about it. Nice, nice. Happy hour. Fun, mm -hmm. fun, fun. <laughs> All right. So I started off by saying, "Hey, Michelle, quick question for you." So it's positive. It's it's not going to dominate. It's just, it's, you know, it's polite, but it's casual at the same time. It's good at work because we're coworkers here. Right. Yeah. And this is or just that day. you're just asking something quick because I, I'll, it just, it, it really is a quick question. And I, yeah. because you're gonna, uh, yeah, it, I'm, yeah. The answer is one word. So Foxtrot right, 601. Gonna, I made yeah. that up. Yeah. And so in the context, we could have already been in another conversation right. talking about something else, or I could be reaching over, or maybe our, we work in cubicles next to each other. I could be reaching over saying, hey, quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. If, you like, like roll your chair over. Yeah. I imagine that. Right. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do miss that about working in an office. I, I remember. Yeah. I always talk to you about, yeah. wow, sometimes during a meeting I would go and meet with my work brother. And I remember just I like know. rolling around the room to his cubicle. We had oh, like an open fun. concept. Yeah. Yeah. Just so roll, fun. Just yeah, roll you know, on over. Things have changed with the pandemic. I mean, you take the good with the bad, right? There's, it's a, it's a trade-off what we have now working from home. There are so many good things, but there are things we miss from yeah. being in person for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So um, you said quick question for you. And then I changed the subject. Maybe my, my, I've been thinking about this and then you came over and I'm like, oh yeah, now that you're talking to me. <laughs> question, yeah. are you free for happy hour tonight? Yeah. And that's kind of fun because sometimes when you extend out an invitation to someone, you might feel a sense of what if they say, no, I'm going to feel a little rejected. So this kind of makes it a little more casual, a little more random. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just an opener for an invitation potentially too. Right? Yeah. It just, it's a fun way to, to introduce the topic. I mean, it, yeah, I could have yeah. just said, sure thing. Are you free for happy hour tonight? But this, it, it's an, it's an opener. Yeah. Like you said, it's kind of, I don't know. It's a nice, like, and we're off. Yeah. <laughs> And we're up. <laughs> and then you said, amazing. The question is, where should we go that isn't already booked? And here we're pulling in the question is, and, and we'll come back to that another day. But what you're saying here is, here's the problem we might face, mm -hmm. right? This is something we've been maybe working on before. It's a some kind of a thing. A decision, a, a decision that yeah. we'll have to make and work out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. different, but I had to throw it in there for dad. 
Yeah, totally. Oh, another episode idea for our listeners. That's why you guys should go ahead and just hit that follow button so you don't miss these episodes. These, oh gosh, this fall we've had some awesome episodes. <laughs> um, just make sure you hit follow. We have we done one yet, Michelle? On amazing, like saying amazing as a response. Amazing, amazing. Period. Uh so I don't know. Right that is common. Yeah, that right is now, common. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm seeing that in my business emails back and forth with companies when yeah. I'm emailing them even or um, just friends. It's everywhere. So I think that would be a great episode to do. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. Done. All right. I love It's so right. fun. These episodes with just about really one main word. It's really good. Yeah, we yeah. get really pinpointed. We get really specific. What What about this one today? What would What would be the takeaway today, Michelle? Well, guys, this is a fun way to introduce a quick question. Again, these are things like quick yes or no questions. How do you do this question? Uh, and then, we, of course, we introduced another thing, which was the question is. Um, but try these out today. And again, as we say all the time, you know, you don't want to use it for every question you ask. Like if you're gonna, if you're at work and he's like, Lindsay, question. Oh, Lindsay, question, question, question. That would, I think yeah. that would drive you batty. <laughs> or the question is, if you do that all the time, you might start to, uh, get, be the, you know, the, the source of an idea for another Seinfeld episode. If yeah, you're not careful. Right. Right? That's true. <laughs> That's where these things come from. These quirks, these yeah. things that people don't realize that they're doing, but <laughs> they do. Yeah. Over and over or something. Yeah, for sure. But we've, yeah. we've talked about that a lot this fall. So guys go Definitely. back if you missed some really fun episodes about Seinfeld. So, all right, Michelle, we are out of here for today. Guys hit follow on the podcast and we'll be back soon. Have a all good right. one. All right. Bye, Lindsay. Bye. 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 